Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another gaming tutorial by Rex Furry. Let's start by getting this out of the way. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make water in your games. And this is actually really simple to do. It just takes about two lines of code, and they're really simple lines of code too. So, um, yeah, and for the purpose of time, uh, excuse me, for the purpose of time, I have everything already made out pretty much. So, I mean, just obviously my player sprite, my uh, ground sprite, and my uh, water sprite. Alright, and my water sprite is just a 32 by 32 um, blue square here. I just colored it blue. So, yeah, you, it can be whatever size you want, though. So, yeah, and then I have my um, ground sprite, and all I did was check it solid, like, you know, regular. And then for my player sprite, I just have my basic movements, my gravity, and my collision with my um, ground. So, yeah, I spared you guys the time of watching all me uh, do all that. Because for some reason, my uh, recording software wouldn't really uh, let me uh, fast forward clips. So, yeah, I just spared you guys the time of watching me do all these uh, movements, or not movements, um, well, yeah, movements, gravity, collision, you know, all that stuff. So, anyway, um, uh, and then I made my water object. And all you do for this is you go um, add an event and then create, I already have one here, and then just go to the control tab over here and um, drag over and execute code and just type out image alpha equals 0 0.5. Um, I will have these codes in the description too, so just in case you don't get this or anything. Um, so yeah, anyway, it can be a little higher than 0 0.5 though too. It can be like 0. I don't know, 0 0.9. It can even be uh, image alpha equals 1, but yeah. So, for those of you who don't know what image alpha means, it means transparency. It's determining how transparent your object is. So, right now I have it so it's half transparent, 0 0.5, because that's half of 1. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, tinker with that a little bit, too. But uh, for now, I'm just going to keep it 0 0.5. So, image alpha equals 0 0.5. Image underscore alpha equals 0 0.5. Okay. And that's all you do for the water object. All right, but now we want to go to our player object and add a new event, collision with our water object, and go to the control tab again, go drag over and execute code, and write this out or copy and paste it from the description box because I will have it in there. Um, if place meeting x, uh, well, um, parenthesis, x, um, comma, y, comma, obj, e water block, and then a, uh, I forgot what those are called, but um, D speed equals negative three. Okay, so what this is saying, if uh, your player is meeting the um, water block, basically if it's overlapping your water block, then, and you like press, oh wait, okay, uh, scratch the collision with the water block, uh, delete that. Go to your add event, key press up. Okay, and then do the code. Okay, I was getting a little confused there. All right, so it's saying if you press up and you're colliding with your um, water block, which we actually need to copy the e water block, and in our water block object, we need to paste the name instead of object two. So it now it's called obj e water block. It's just kind of more easier to distinguish um, distinguish your water block object. So, yeah. All right, so if we're meeting our E water block, then, and we're pressing up, then our V speed, which is our vertical speed, our up speed, will be going negative three. So it will be like we're swimming on the water, kind of. All right? And that's actually all you need to do for, uh, for water, for really simple water. And, well, of course, we need to also, we need to make a room and put some ground, turn off the grid. You don't have to, but I just like to. All right, and I'll just lay down the ground. Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. All right, so there we go. And then I'll place my water block in here. And right now, um, you can't see its transparency. It's g um, right now it looks pretty. I don't know, pretty not transparent. But when you run the game, you'll see what happens. All right, so I, I will actually be back because when my when you run the game, it goes in kind of a smaller window. And uh, since I'm recording in this big space right now, um, you guys will see my desktop. And I'm not really too fond of that. So I will be back.
Hey again. Um, all right. So now we are running the game. I'm just gonna close this really quick. Okay. So now we are running the game, and my player is moving. And when I go in the water, as you can see, it's not really due. You can't really notice the transparency right now. Um, but like, if you play, if you were to place a tile behind it, then you would see like some tiles like behind the water. You would see that it actually is transparent. So uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, I'm in the water, and when I keep pressing up, it's kind of like I'm swimming, so, yeah. Anyway, basically, um, yeah, so when I collide with this water and I'm pressing the up arrow, um, this happens. My vertical speed goes up, uh, negative three. So, yeah, and then I can get on the land and start walking again. So that's basically the uh, basics of water. Um, it can get more complex if you really wanted to, but this is pretty good for uh, beginner's water. And, you know, I actually, I like to use it in some of my games, too. I just have some more actions and stuff on it. But anyway, this is the basics of how to do water. And, uh, yeah, so I hope this helped you out. And uh, this has been Rexford with another game making tutorial. And there are more to come, so stay tuned for that. And also, feel free to do... Um, uh, Excuse me, to uh, just give me ideas for videos and uh, suggestions for uh, different tutorials. And uh, yeah, there will be more on the way. So see you later.